Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Sagarmatha, is a brick wall, being an alternative to Everest, it actually shares a few similar aspects with it, for one, both have very average stats, but Sagarmatha has one armor for less health, as well as less repair cap, but that doesn't matter as much because Sagarmatha still has replaceable parts, giving it a cheaper repair costs and allowing it to take more hits without being too costly. It also has heroism, a game changer trait that allows it to brace once without suffering the negative effect, which can be very powerful at shrugging off really big damage without slowing down in the process, and its core power provides a truly massive defensive buff to all of its allies, a sort of reversal to Everest's core power. As for the roles, Sagarmatha primarily serves as defender, but with its average stats and triple weapon mounts, it can take a side role in any other roles just as well, also, since Sagarmatha basically comes free at license level 0, the build potential gets even more crazy, anyway, let's get going with the defender controller builds first. Plus L plus ratio is a Pankrati Sagarmatha that wants to make sure one target gets screwed over hard, simply approach the target, smash them with the cat hammer, stunning them, grapple them with duelist for free, and then invade them with dimensional emblems from Horo S3 before moving them over the data constructs for a lot of heat. Open Door and Nuclear Cavalier can also throw in more heat, effectively giving anyone you hate a ridiculous 12 heat, and that's not even involving Osiris yet for more control. 37 bees in a trench coat is a very typical drone commander Sagarmatha, thanks to its 10 sensor range, which is quite adequate for just about any drone's shenanigans you want, add in all the nexus with senti main, and gassed nexus with heavy gunner, that's a lot of pain to the enemies. Annihilation Suite 3 is also another drone commander Sagarmatha, one that used Tempest Drone to keep its victim from running away from its fist, you could also use Annihilation Nexus to grind up any nearby enemies whenever you want. And here's a trick, Duelist 3, can be activated with any melee attack, so you can use Hunter to move with the integrated knife, attack the target, then use it to grapple someone for free, and if you happen to have full action, you can suplex someone straight to hell with TSS 3. I have 6 license levels and I'm using all of them is a much more normal Famarayan Sagarmatha, one that's simply a danger to anything nearby, with Explosive Vent and Vanguard DSAS, but when things are too far, you can use Ferris Lash to pull them in, or Nuclear Cavalier and External Batteries combo to shoot further with anything, its sheer bulk can also be used to protect any allies safely. Policy Change is a Sagarmatha that's all about cover, cover from blasting Daisy Cutter, throwing both flash or smoke charges, and putting up Blink Shield or Stasis Barrier to block enemies passage and fire entirely, with Grease Monkey for all the extra charges, plus Reactive Weave to enhance its brace, and you gonna see quite a few builds with it thanks to its low license cost. Game Master Suffering is 100% what GMS actually stands for, it started with Everest, and it's gonna continue with Sagarmatha. By combining Noah and Auto Cooler, you force the GM to attack you or get slapped anytime they attack your allies, cooling down is just a bonus, and if any enemies try to move, Heavy Gunner put them down fast, there's even flash anchor to keep your allies from getting pushed around, to put it shortly, your GM can't do shit without getting fucked around. KC at bat is a half black witch Sagarmatha, good at anti-tech, anti-kinetic, an enemy that doesn't want to get close will get closer from the dual mag cannons, or you can just pankrati to their face and smash it in with a hammer. Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots, is a powerful controlling brawler Sagarmatha with armor lock plating to brace and never get pushed back, plus ramjet to move fast and smash someone hard, it also has drone commander, with sentinel for counter attack and restock for battlefield aid, plus roller in case unwanted things get too close. Finally, there's mountain witch, a kai bioplated sagarmatha that can move all over the place while casting difficult terrain and traps to pull people into them, or aid its allies with its systems and talents, it also has the occasional cyclone pulse rifle spell to make enemy disappear, permanently. And that's all on the Defender Controller Sagarmatha, which with its size and 10 sensor range, Sagarmatha is actually quite good at it, might even make protecting its allies an easier job too, anyway, let's get going with the Defender Striker builds next. 
Wall of Thundering Fiery Death is a half Nelson Sagar Matha that's going to move fast and stab the hell out of everything with its dual modded warp hikes, adding in house guard and both armor lock and reactive weave, this Sagar Matha is going to be very lethal and very tough. Try it I dare you is a Scylla Sagar Matha that decided that any enemy that moves too close should just die, with dual stabilized Vorpal guns for all the reactions fire, and heavy gunner stabilized HMG with Scylla for a ridiculous amount of reaction fire power, and when incoming fire gets too heavy, you have reactive weave to dodge it. Nano Hyena Swarm is a swarm body Sagar Matha that does what every swarm body builds want, pulling enemies closer with executioner nanobot whip and then just slicing them up, the whip even has shock wreath just for some blinding burn, reactive weave and infiltrator also lets it sneak around to put the fear into the enemy that there's an invisible giant running around, and exemplar prevents your victim from running away. Aaron Pendragon is a house guard Sagar Matha with Argonaut and Enclave shields to protect his allies, with assault cannon to shoot anything at mid-range, and when things get close, cut them up through any defense with a paracausal nano blade. Firepower is an acceptable substitute for love is a Lucifer Leviathan heavy assault cannon Sagar Matha, I think you know where this is going, it also comes with heat fall, deep well, and black thumb, so you can overcharge for even more action without having to worry much about the heat just for even more firepower or protection. Three-headed serpent is another Noah Sagar Matha, with a focus on firepower thanks to dual assault cannon and an auto stab paracausal HMG with heavy gunner to blast apart anything out in the open. Sunburn, is a heavy gunner Andromeda Sagar Matha that's going to get a little hot but that's not a problem with its 12 heat cap, add in flash charges, Aegis shield, stasis bolt, and house guard, the enemies are not touching your allies at all, and when things get too hot, cool down quickly with RSU. Finally, there's hell hath no fury, because of course there's a very basic Azura Sagar Matha that's good at any range, with all the extra actions to keep you and your allies alive by maintaining your frame and killing everything else. And that's it on the Defender Striker builds, which as you can see, because Sagar Matha can pick more random licenses than more specialized frames, things can get real crazy in just about any direction and it can still do work. You probably have realized how good reactive weave and armor lock plating are for Sagar Matha, but honestly, you don't really need them all the time, they are just good to have around with how good Sagar Matha is at bracing, you don't even actually see that many of them in this episode, anyway, let's get going with some defender support builds. Sergeant Matha is a drone commander Sagar Matha that's focusing on being a good battlefield commander, with plenty of drone to control enemies placement or support allies, plus leader, empath, held image, and black spot for a lot more accuracy on almost anything, this build can really keep your allies alive and they will be grateful for it. Mountain King is another Sagar Matha build that takes only one dip in any license, resulting in a defender build that protects its allies with Argonaut and Enclave shields, Pebcock to deal with tech problems, and Vanguard DSAS plus Krakatoa for in-your-face issues, it also has an autopod but really, spotter talent would be quite useful here. The mountain that flies is exactly what it said, a Fomorian Sagar Matha that can fly anywhere quickly with Ace, with plenty of Emperor systems for support that can also suplex anything straight to hell, I'm not even sure if you need SMN for this, plus black spot for more lock-on, you could never have enough of it. Of course, you could also never have enough battle taxi builds, and there's a lot of Sagar Matha ones, like this one called who gave the battle bus a warp drive and stealth module, a Fomorian Sagar Matha that can move fast with fold knives and reactive weave, while smashing its way through anything with juggernaut and siege ram, and still pack enough firepower to deal with anything in the way. Mobile Bunker is a Fomorian battle taxi Sagar Matha that got extra spicy with a siege cannon, capable of firing on a move, or go immobile in siege mode to bombard anything distant to hell while quick loading with external ammo feed. Finally, there's Martyr Guardian, a Sagar Matha that wants to redirect damage taken by allies to itself through Camus Razor, with the armor and health to take the hits, and once it get filled, fire back the pain with Retort Loop, add in House Guard, and this Sagar Matha can really keep its allies safe and sound. And that's all on the defender support builds, which Sagar Matha already does best at with its traits and core power, all the additional systems just add on to this capability, now, let's get going with the final category, the defender artillery builds. Fully automated not luxury gay space bullets is an Athena held image spotter Sagar Matha that can see everything that also has triple auto gun so it can still do a lot of damage even while throwing all its actions on other things, like Athena, or Hunter Lock, or just all the turret drones. King of Battle is a lesson of shaping Sagar Matha that packs both Tlaloc and Scylla to get all the reaction fire and make sure every hit counts, and since Tlaloc activates through protocol and Scylla is just a quick, 
you can activate both of these NHP practically every round if you could manage the heat, add in monitor and neural link, there's nowhere your firepower can't reach. Arjitlam is another Noah house guard Sagarmatha, with a primary focus of defending with the NHP or its stasis systems with retractable profile to make it harder to be hit, you could hide better too, and since both Noah house guard 3 do not count as attack nor save, you don't get found at all, and when in doubt, you have heat fall to overcharge and AMR for long range fire, plus the dual oracle. Turret Mark 3 is a Tlaloc neural link stabilized Leviathan Sagarmatha for a ridiculous 16 range, the intent here is to miss, deal reliable damage, and hit the other target for big damage, plus you are really building a bunker here, so you really don't need to move while the enemies have to. And finally, there's liquefaction of enemies, no matter their locations, because of course we have to end this episode with a completely insane build, no systems, only pain, and paracausal pain for everyone. And that's all on the Defender Artillery builds, which thanks to Sagarmatha triple weapon mounts, give you a lot of spaces for plenty of varieties. And that's all 40 Sagarmatha builds finished reviewing, once again, I would like to thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds for this episode, so, yeah, I guess it would be fitting to finish up the series with an alternative GMS frame, one that's quite good at taking hits and supporting its allies. Anyway, with everything done, this series will now be put on hiatus, for quite a long while because I have been working on it for like, a year and a half, wow it really took that long, but I need a refreshment after working on this series for so long, maybe I will put it up again when more official Lancer supplements come out with more mechs, anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.